Hello, welcome to Science City's Nature Works. We are bringing you Nature Works at home. And today we are going to focus on one of our resident ambassadors, our three-toed box turtle. This is Bubba. Bubba has been with us for a long time and we honestly don't know his age, but he is an adult. He is a male box turtle. He is native to Missouri and he is called a three-toed box turtle for obvious reasons. If we set him down and see if he'll come to life here and walk around for us, we can actually see that on his back legs, he does have three toes on each leg. Now on his front feet, he has five toes, just like you and I do. He is a male because, we know this, because of his red eyes. You can see that he has red eyes. Maybe you can see that. Turn sideways, Bubba. Show him your beautiful eyes. He also has red spots on his arms. And he has some red on his face as well. The female of the species is going to be kind of dull, kind of drab. She's going to have brown. She's going to have brown eyes. But the other difference between the male and the female is there's shell on the bottom. He has this indention right here and we call that a concave shell. Concave means it dips in. And so he has that concave shell, whereas the female is going to be straight across, so she doesn't have that indention. These guys can be found all over Missouri. They love to be near water, but they're not gonna be swimming in the water. They also like um, grassy glades. They like to hide in uh, logs. And it's springtime right now, so we need to watch out for these guys. They're going to be coming out and trying to find some warm sunshine, just like you and I do. They tend to travel anywhere from a mile to two miles in their range. And so sometimes that involves crossing a street or a road. And we will see them this time of year crossing a road a lot. So if you do come upon a, a turtle that's crossing the road and you have your parents with you and the coast is clear, there's nobody around, you can help that turtle cross the road, but please make sure you put him in the direction that he is going. Because if you take him back and put him where he came from, he's just going to turn around and go right back across the road. They have a definite point that they're trying to get to, their destination, and so we want to make sure that they get there. A-okay. These guys like I said, are the state reptile of Missouri. In Missouri alone, we have 18 species of turtles, but only two species of land turtles, like Bubba. We have, of course, the three-toed box turtle, and we have the ornate box turtle, and their shell is a little more fancy than Bubba's would be. Let's see if he'll stick his toes out here, and we can see that he has three toes. Oh, is he gonna do it? No, he's not. The ornate box turtle happens to be the state reptile of our neighboring state, Kansas. Now, if you look at Bubba's mouth, he has what looks like a beak, and it is a beak. This helps them to eat all kinds of foods. He is considered an omnivore, and so he will eat pretty much anything. He loves all kinds of insects. That includes earthworms, beetles, snails. He also likes fruit. One of Bubba's favorite treats are strawberries. They like blueberries. And we're going to hopefully see if Bubba's hungry and he'll eat some of these super worms that I've brought out for him. Are you hungry, Bubba? You want to eat some food? Huh? You want to try? Let's put out a worm and see if we can watch him eat. He'll use that beak to chomp down on any food that he finds. It helps him to tear the leafy greens apart, helps him to bite into whole pieces of fruit in the wild. But right now he's going to try his hand at getting these super worms. There we go. Oh, try again. They're a little wiggly. There he goes. These guys in the wild can live anywhere from 15 to sometimes 80 years. And there's even been some that have no, been known to live to be 100 years old. But their average lifespan usually in Missouri is anywhere from 15 to 30 years. They have to get past that crucial stage when they're very tiny, when they're, when they're first, first hatched. 
And since Bubba is considered an adult, um, he's not going to get much bigger. They do continue to grow throughout their lifetime, but they slow down as they get older. Now, Bubba, for his protection, he's not called a, bo a box turtle for nothing. He can pull himself all the way inside his shell for protection because of this wonderful hinge right here. It's like a hinge on a door, which makes this part of his plastron or bottom shell flexible. And so he can pull his whole self in, all those arms and legs, all that head, and then he can close it in very tightly. And he's all boxed in. He pulls in like he's inside of a box. That's where they get the term box turtle. It's one of the most wonderful protections in the wild from predators. And their shell, you hear that? It's very hard. It's made out of the same material that your hair is made out of and that your fingernails are made out of. And it's keratin. And so there are layers and layers and layers of keratin on here that makes it very, very strong. Now, supposedly we've heard that you can count the rings on their shell to get an age about like you would with a tree. But that's not real reliable because there's a lot of variables in there like the type of winter that there was, the type of summer that they've been through. So we don't really count on that, but if we're counting his rings, which we've done before, we, we say he's about 15 years old. All right, Bubba, you want to eat another worm for the kids? All right, here we go. We'll get him another worm out. Now, remember, you can find all kinds of nature in your backyard. Nature does work at home, so go outside and find some. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.